Tonight at 5, how a new app is helping UW-Madison students stay safe this school year. Also, some breaking news near the Wisconsin Dells after a police pursuit ended in a crash closing part of the interstate. You're watching News 3 now at 5. And we are following breaking news out of Evansville as well. Police are searching for a man who they say brandished a knife and threatened to stab his ex-wife at a daycare on Church Street there Friday morning. The two got into an argument over money. 52-year-old D. Wayne Harnack left the area before police arrived. Police say the man previously made comments about refusing to meet with law enforcement. Rock County Sheriff's deputies and Evansville EMS took the children to a different location until their parents could pick them up. And also breaking, the interstate near the Dells closed right now due to an unspecified incident there. This video sent to us by a News 3 Now viewer shows part of that incident. The state patrol confirming officers were pursuing that semi, but further details were not immediately available. A Wisconsin Department of Transportation traffic camera showed a large law enforcement presence surrounding a semi near the I-9094 and Highway 1216 interchange. That was about 345. We'll follow this story throughout the evening hours and have more information next hour. News 3 Now at 6, as well as News 3 Now at 10, and always at channel3000.com. As move-in week on the UW-Madison campus begins at residence halls, Thousands of Badgers are getting ready to start their next adventures. And this year, the UW-Madison PD is launching a new app aimed to keep them safe and giving their parents a little more peace of mind. Braden Ross joins us to explain. Braden. Yeah, I spent the day on campus talking to those Badgers, and I can tell you between game day excitement and dorm decorating, they've got a lot going on. But for their parents, it's safety that's top of mind, and UWPD's new safety app is there to help. It has everything from maps on where to find emergency supplies to a direct chat line to UWPD dispatch. It's also now the main place for WISC alerts in case of on and off campus emergencies. The app isn't just for students, though. Anyone can download it, including parents. I feel totally uh, safe having him here. We've already downloaded the, the Badger, the safe app. You know, he has it on his phone and my husband and I, we have it on our phones. So, and also I like that as a parent that we get notifications as well in case there's like a, a like a more of a global, um, more community um, incident that happened that we're also notified as well. UWPD told me since they soft launched the app earlier this month, they've already had more than 8,000 downloads. They also said they'll be looking for feedback and updating the app as needed. Braden, thank you. Now to weather. We've cooled off and cooler yet for the weekend. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti on the weather patio with the latest, Gary. Well, having some sunshine uh, come in this afternoon, temperatures have actually warmed up a bit, but they're certainly not as hot as they were at this time yesterday. You can see the morning clouds heading off to the south and east. Now to our north and west, there are a couple of showers and thunderstorms that have popped up from north central Wisconsin to just uh, west of La Crosse. A little flash of lightning there. We'll zoom into southern Wisconsin. You can see six hour future track radar shows the possibility for a shower or a thunderstorm at some point during the evening hours. Most of us most likely will stay dry. Current temperatures uh, right now 81 in Madison. Now we've got the sunshine farther to the west. The sunshine got in a little bit earlier and notice La Crosse is at 90 degrees whereas east of Dane County temperatures are in the 70s because the sun has just started to appear there. Across Dane County temperatures range from around 80 in Sun Prairie and Deerfield to 83 in Cross Plains and also in Mount Horeb. Uh, heat index right now generally in the middle 80s here but notice out to the west La Crosse still feels like 95. Viroqua at 92. So there's still some moisture out there. Dew point temperatures are in the upper 60s to around 70. Even those numbers are down from yesterday. And as we look at our forecast for this evening, look for partly cloudy skies, just a slight chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. Temperatures dropping into the middle 70s. Later on, I'll take a look at how cool it'll be this weekend if there's any prospects for rain in the next 10 days. Gary, thank you. New at 5, a Milwaukee police officer was hurt after two suspects hit him with a car while trying to flee police. Officials say one of the suspects had several outstanding warrants, which prompted that attempted arrest. After officers confronted the two, they got into a car, tried to flee the scene. One officer was hit by the car, who shot at the suspects. Both were hit by gunfire and then were arrested after being hospitalized. You bring harm to our community, there's no place that we're not going to go find you. And I'm glad that we had the collaboration between our other law enforcement agencies to ensure that we're doing our best in regards to addressing our violent crime in our city and also our affected communities. A third suspect was also arrested. The officer who was struck by the car is expected to be just fine. We are already starting to see the 2024 campaign kickoff. Republicans, of course, held their first debate over in Milwaukee this week, and candidates are already lining up to run for Congress as well. Political reporter Will Keneally has more. Well, Eric, Wisconsin has two competitive seats for Congress right now, one in western Wisconsin and the other in southern Wisconsin. That's where we find Congressman Brian Stile. Now, we caught up with him outside of that presidential debate in Milwaukee, talking to him about his upcoming re-election. Yeah, the, the campaign's a long ways off. 
Congressman Brian Stile already has two new Democratic challengers, announcing within the last few weeks that they want to unseat him in Wisconsin's first congressional district. Yeah, people have always uh, put a target on me. Uh, in my first race, my opponent was the second most funded Democrat in the United States of America. So why the interest in the first congressional district? It's bans from Janesville, Stiles' home community, to Racine County, where his two challengers live. Lorenzo Santos and Anthony Hames have both filed paperwork to run. And because of how the lines are drawn, this southern Wisconsin district is the most competitive out of our eight congressional districts. It could most easily fall between Democratic and Republican control. Last summer, for instance, we traveled with style down to Beloit. That used to belong to Mark Pocan's second district, but the Democratic-leaning city is now in the first district, part of what makes it so competitive. I'm out there talking to folks in historically uh, Democratic communities all the time, explaining the policies that I believe move our country forward. On top of that, a court case before Wisconsin's newly liberal state Supreme Court could redraw the districts even further. I, I don't have any control over the Wisconsin Supreme Court, um, so I focus on what I control. Uh, I'm out there every day talking to folks. Uh, the fact that uh, the current maps are from Governor Evers, uh, Democrat-drawn maps, uh, currently not a problem. I'm now, we reached out to both of those Democratic candidates for the story. We did not hear back, but we are looking to have them on soon. All right, Will, thank you. One person was hospitalized after a crash along John Nolan Drive in Madison overnight. Investigators determined a northbound motorcycle on John Nolan ran a red light, hit a car that was turning from East Lakeside. One person was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. That motorcyclist was cited for running the red light and also speeding. Looking ahead, the U.S. Secretary of Education will visit Madison next month. Miguel Cardona plans a visit September 7th as part of his 2023 back-to-school bus tour. Cardona will be joined by Madison Representative Mark Pocan. He's expected to speak about high school career pathway programs programs. Secretary Cardona will also make stops in Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, and Minnesota. Potholes and crumbling shoulders, they'll frustrate just about any driver, but your average car can usually get through all that. That's not always the case when you're driving a 70,000-pound milk truck or a 30-foot corn harvester, and that's why state lawmakers, along with transportation leaders, invested hundreds of millions of dollars in the new budget to improve rural roads. State transportation and ag leaders celebrated those investments during a visit to a farm near Monroe this morning. One new program devotes $150 million over the next two years to fixing roads that directly service farms and food producers. In transportation, one of the things we do like is to have predictable uh, long-term funding. But with that being said, uh, this is the first step, and uh, success begets success. So if, if, the, if this $150 million uh, goes out and people see the improvement, farmers see the improvement, at the end of the day, uh, lawmakers listen to their constituents. State Department of Transportation will set the criteria for roads that qualify while municipalities and counties will make the selection. Secretary Thompson predicts construction on those rural roads will begin next spring. Republican presidential candidates have had trouble breaking through all the noise of former President Trump's legal problems. And while those court cases are drawing a lot of attention, they're also providing the former president with a way to extend his lead over the field of contenders. His campaign was actually selling mugs and T-shirts featuring his booking photo within an hour of him leaving the Fulton County Jail last night in Georgia. What has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And everybody knows it. I've never had such support. And that goes with the other ones, too. What they're doing is election interference. They're trying to interfere with an election. Nearly 13 million Americans tuned in to watch the eight other presidential hopefuls of this week's GOP debate here in Wisconsin. Candidates are hoping they can capitalize on any momentum they might have been able to gain from that event. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was out looking for some electoral magic. He was at Field of Dreams over in Dyersville, Iowa, just as Trump was being booked down in Atlanta. Well, if you've been thinking about adopting an animal recently, now is the perfect time. Dane County Humane Society wrapping up its month-long Clear the Shelters promotion this weekend. Tomorrow and Sunday, adoption fees will be the lowest they've been all month. The Humane Society hopes the reduced fees encourage Dane County residents to come out and adopt. So Saturday and Sunday, we are hoping to clear our shelters of animals and find homes for all of them. Uh, right now, we're at over 80 animals in the shelter. Uh, so we would love to find homes for each and every one of them. 
Adoption at the Dane County Humane Society is first come, first served. They encourage everyone attending to have at least two pets in mind when they arrive. More information can be found at channel3000.com. Mortgage rates across the country are soaring this week. Consumers appear to be a little more anxious about the economy. The Federal Reserve Chair revealing his likely next steps as his battle to curb high inflation wages on. Laura Aguirre breaks down the Fed's remarks and how it could impact your budget. It is the Fed's job to bring inflation down to our 2% goal, and we will do so. Fed Chair Jerome Powell cut to the chase right out of the gate. We are prepared to raise rates further if appropriate and intend to hold policy at a restrictive level until we are confident that inflation is moving sustainably down toward our objective. This forecast coming at the same time, mortgage rates are soaring to a 22-year high. A 30-year fixed rate is now averaging 7.23% up nearly two points over this same time last year, according to Freddie Mac. And despite the current pace of price increases slowing this summer, the Fed may not be ready to ease off the interest rate gas pedal. Although inflation has moved down from its peak, a welcome development, it remains too high. Chairman Powell says the big picture is what matters when tracking prices. Core goods prices fell the last two months, but on a 12-month basis, core goods inflation remains well above its pre-pandemic level. Also out Friday, the University of Michigan's monthly consumer sentiment survey, which measures Americans' attitudes about the economy. Despite a slight dip in consumer confidence between July and August, overall sentiment was still far better than last summer, when inflation peaked at over 9%. We are navigating by the stars under cloudy skies. At upcoming meetings, we will assess our progress based on the totality of the data and the evolving outlook and risks. Bottom line for now, brace for more interest rate bumps in the months ahead. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. And we have a breaking news update. Evansville police have confirmed 52-year-old Dwayne Harnack, who brandished a knife allegedly and threatened his wife at a daycare in Evansville, has been found and arrested. Officers say the district attorney's office will release details on possible charges at a later date. Coming up, Gary has a complete look at the weekend forecast, and we head to Maui for the latest on recovery efforts there after the recent deadly wildfires. And a much-needed surge on Wall Street to close the week. The Dow jumping more than 247 points, and as that climbs 127, S and P 500 gains 29 and we'll be right back. Don't miss this mattress deal, Wisconsin. Right now at Ashley, save up to $900 on Beauty Rest Black and receive your choice of Apple AirPod Pros or Apple Watch plus $300 in free furniture. You're not going to find this deal anywhere else, only at Ashley. Hi, my name is Kyle Wonkel and this is my John Deere. We uh, farm corn and beans, wheat, um, my dad, two older brothers, and me. What makes Sloan stand out is just, they, I feel like they've always had our back. Five o'clock at night the other night, I had an issue with my tractor, called our AMS guy, and he was there, and he did not leave until he got me fixed, and he was there pretty late that night. But I was impressed that he didn't care what time it was, he just got on the road. It's what I love, it's what I know, and I don't ever want to change. Are you sweating over high energy bills? Windows drafty or broken? Champion is here to help. With our 70th anniversary sale, buy two windows, get two free. At Champion, we design new windows specific to your home's needs. Then they are built in our very own factory, installed by a team of professionals, and guaranteed for a lifetime by our best-in-class warranty. Buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. To everyone who's hungry for something special. Culver's is the place for us. Hi, what can I make fresh for you today? It's nice being greeted by people who are glad to see you. And I appreciate that they use real ingredients like fresh beef and Wisconsin cheese. The frozen custard is so fresh and creamy, it tastes like it was made just for us. It's our pleasure. Just spending time with family, that's what mealtime at Culver's is all about. From Wisconsin with love, welcome, welcome to Delicious! delicious. Hopefully, your family will never need to hire a personal injury lawyer. But if you ever do, it's important to understand that not all law firms are the same. A lot more is involved than one phone call and a quick settlement. To make things right again, it can take time, and it will take talent. Since 1930, Habish, Habish & Rotier has recovered more million-dollar results for our clients than any other law firm in Wisconsin. Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation. Hometown service. 
Get the absolute lowest prices now during Furniture and Appliance Mart's Labor Day event. Save $1,600 instantly on this four-piece Whirlpool kitchen package. Or get a washer and dryer pair for $18 a month, all with 72 months special financing at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Tonight on News 3 Now, I'll tell you how research inside the lab at UW-Madison is taking these tiny pieces of plastic and making a big impact. Then how the UWPD believes an app will help make Madison's campus safer for the community. It all comes down to the final drive. News 3 Now brings you the big play highlights and scores from Southern Wisconsin High School football action. Don't miss the final drive. Fridays on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Search teams continue combing through the rubble in Lahaina while Navy divers off the coast are searching for those who may have drowned trying to escape the flames. Maui officials have released an official list of 388 people who are still unaccounted for. Mike Valerio has the latest as the recovery continues. This one was uh, used to be a restaurant called Longies. There is agony in every stone of Lahaina's front street. Utility teams solemnly at work. Memories of what happened here, a visceral and mournful force. People were jumping in the water, but also there's no air because the fire is eating all of the oxygen, right? Glass blower Ryan Staub takes us to his art gallery. What remains of it? This was these were my windows where we had tons of beautiful glass art and now there's just piles of rubble. But amid the devastation, there is compassion. The Hawaiian spirit of Ohana family. On the ground, it is just a lot of gratitude. Pharmacist Dr. Corey Lejano is devoting his dream, his business, to give away medications, thousands of doses, he says, absolutely free to those in Lahaina who lost everything. I know that we've administered thousands and thousands of, of doses of, of medication, whether that be um, the expensive injectables for, for those uh, battling diabetes or, or any type of behavioral health medications. We've, um, we've done it across the board. Amid all of this, there is a feeling among many of duty to stay in Lahaina and help its rebirth. There are, you know, literally thousands of people who need stability and, and who need something to look to. And, and, you know, as trusted healthcare professionals, we have that mantle and, and that responsibility to, to, to take care of that. I'm Mike Valerio reporting. And let's get a look at our first warm forecast as the weekend arrives. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti has your forecast. Gary? Well, today wasn't as hot and not quite as humid, although it still is a little bit humid out there. And as a weak cold front starts to head in from the north and west, you can see a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up to our north and west. Now, the rain that we had earlier has moved off to the south and east. Here across southern Wisconsin, high-resolution radar shows one little thunderstorm cell coming out of southeastern Minnesota, about ready to move into the northern portions of Crawford County, north of, uh, say, uh, Prairie du Chien, heading over towards toward uh, Richland Center. Uh, we could see a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms this evening. Six-hour future track radar shows just how widely scattered they'll be. So if you get rain, you'll probably be one of the lucky ones. We could use the rain, but there doesn't seem to be a lot out there. Any shower or thunderstorm could bring a brief heavy downpour, but that's about it. Rainfall uh, this morning just kind of fizzled as it moved into southern Wisconsin. This is rain vision rainfall estimates. Less than a quarter of an inch of rain over southwestern Wisconsin, the heavier amounts out uh, west of the Mississippi River. But take a look at precipitation over the last seven days. All of this was yesterday. The showers and storms have popped up east of Madison. Of course, the uh, rain out to the west of us uh, last night and this morning. But most of our Wisconsin, especially across our viewing area, has seen little or no rain over the last seven days. And take a look at the 10-day precipitation forecast from uh, one of the computer models showing less than a tenth of an inch of rain in spots that even get rain at all. Most areas will probably stay dry over the next 10 days, and that's not going to help drought conditions around here. They'll start to ramp back up again. But three things you need to know in the forecast. Those temperatures will drop. We'll see mild weather with highs in the lower to middle 70s for tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, we'll see dry weather again, little if any rain for the next week and a half. And then we start to warm up as we head into the Labor Day weekend. I think Friday we'll be back into the 80s and see 80s for Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day Monday. On weather track, upper level winds have become a little more northwesterly. So once this cold front comes through, the air really dries out. Notice the absence of clouds to the north and west. It's actually a little trough of low pressure that will follow in behind the cold front, and that will just help to dry out the air. All the hot and humid air is on the other side of this front here. That's the soupy air that we were in the last couple of days. We're still warm and humid, but the humidity levels drop behind the cold front as 
as well. In fact, you take a look at current temperatures. Uh, there's not much of a temperature difference across the front. Uh, 80s in front of behind the front, but they do drop off a little bit in northern Minnesota. But notice the dew points. Upper 60s here around 50 up in northern Minnesota. That's the drier air that's heading in our direction and will be here beginning tomorrow. Plan your night across Dane County. Outside chance for a shower or thunderstorm this evening. Otherwise, 66 for the low in Oregon, 66 to Forest, and 64 in Middleton. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, Camp Douglas will get down to 59 tonight. The sky is clear out there, but it'll stay warm. Uh, 69 for the low in Monroe and in Janesville. Tomorrow, look for partly sunny skies. It'll be cooler and less humid. High temperature at 72 degrees. First warm 7 to 10 day forecast. 74 on Sunday. Monday, a little boost in temperatures up to around 80. As a weak cold front passes through, a chance of a shower or thunderstorm late Monday afternoon or Monday night. But that's really it as far as rain is concerned over the next 10 days. We'll start stay uh, moderately cool for the middle part of next week. Warm back up into the 80s beginning on Friday and lasting right through the Labor Day holiday weekend. That looks like a pretty nice weekend overall. As we check out our first war in traffic right now, uh, things looking pretty good around Dane County. Uh, Belt Island in good shape. A bit of a slowdown northbound on I-39, 90, 94, right at the I-94 interchange course. A lot of that is traffic heading north for the weekend. Right now, Belt Line traffic uh, times are very good there. Uh, coming inbound from Sun Prairie to downtown will take you less than 20 minutes. Going back outbound, it'll take you 19 minutes. Uh, middle in Sauk City is a quick 16 minutes on US 12 and the Belt Line to Janesville also a minute faster than normal at 23 minutes. That's your news for now for sworn traffic. All right, Gary, might be a little traffic over in Middleton tonight. It's the 60th annual Good Neighbor Festival. Not yet, though, apparently. It's a live look at the festival grounds. The event will run until midnight tonight. Our Brady Mallory will be live from the festival with more details next hour on News 3 Now at 6. A very popular event. It's been 60 years since Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech. Next at 5, we'll hear from Howard University alumni who were there. Stay with us. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. After a serious truck crash, you need a team who knows how to handle trucking cases and gets results. You need Gruber Law Offices. There's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Fry Construction invites you to celebrate summer with our hot summer sale. We're talking about hot savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our hot summer sale. Save 23% off gutters or insulation with any full siding project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. You work hard enough. Take a load off this Labor Day with new appliances from Brothers Main. Celebrate the holiday with unbeatable deals on top brands like GE Appliances, Cafe, Hotpoint, and higher. Don't miss out. Shop the Labor Day sale at Brothers Main today. Set summer in motion with the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet, like the CRV and the Accord, both with available hybrid powertrains. Designed to deliver more thrilling performance and more innovative tech. Make every adventure more electrifying with Honda, the most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. At Foster Funeral and Cremation Services, we honor legacies. Let us take care of the arrangement so you can focus on saying goodbye. Veteran owned and operated. Experience exceptional care and affordable service with Foster Funeral and Cremation Services. Create the ultimate backyard getaway with 11% off everything at Menards. We have the best selection of decking, blocks, grills, and outdoor furniture to transform your yard from ordinary to extraordinary. Add the perfect finishing touch to your patio with your choice of flowers, just $4.99 after rebate. Then cozy up in those cool summer nights. The 26-inch Madison Square Fire Pit is just $79.99, and six light LED flicker flame string lights are $4.98 each after 11% off. Save big money at Menards. 
There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Tempur-Pedic mattress from Steinhoffels. And right now, save up to $700 on adjustable base sets, plus get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Tempur-Pedic queen mattresses start at just $42 per month when you use Steinhoffels 72-month financing. Tempur-Pedic mattresses are designed to make aches and pains a thing of the past by relieving pressure points and supporting the body as no other mattress can. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Every single day, we help families that have been tragically impacted in truck crashes. And you'll never pay us a fee until we win your case. Truck crash? Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Monday marks the 60th anniversary of the first March on Washington, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. An estimated 250,000 people attended what turned out to be the largest civil rights gathering of its time to protest racial discrimination and civil rights abuses. Natalie Brand spoke to four women who were there. What I remember most was be feeling excited. I remember walking across this expanse of grass with a sea of people. Among the sea of people there that day, Howard alumni Margaret Wright, Kay Henson, Beverly Brooks Anderson, and Marsha Moore. It was mind-blowing, as they would say. Hearing that speech that day, it, it was etched and sketched in the mind to move me forward. The women share a common bond of hearing about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream for a better America in person. Once uh, Dr. King started speaking, they listened with rapt attention. We should leave there with and be guided by his vision and his words to us for the rest of our lives. A call to action. I knew that I wanted to be a part of the movement. I think I was uplifted spiritually, intellectually, and morally. A sentiment that's endured the past six decades, but the work isn't done. You talked about continued hurdles. What is your hope for future generations? We have to teach the history of our people, and we have to encourage them to do what they can do to help their fellow man. There are things we must do beyond ourselves, beyond our family. Aim high, look to the mountaintop, and always be inclusive and in reaching out to touch the lives of as many people as you can. Margaret Wright, who has attended every March on Washington since 1963, says it's critically important to continue the legacy. There's much hope, there's much promise, there's much need. An annual gathering that serves as a reminder of the road traveled and the journey still ahead. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. And organizers expect tens of thousands of people to attend the 60th anniversary march on Saturday in Washington. Civil rights leaders include Martin Luther King III, Andrea Waters King, and the Reverend Al Sharpton. They'll be among the featured guests. A final check of your first one forecast when we return. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Visit the Century House today and view our extensive lineup. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. Your dirty vents may be telling you something. Pounds of dirt, dust, and contaminants are trapped in your air ducts. That's why you need a professional air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. We've been cleaning air ducts the right way for over 25 years. Our NADCA certified technicians and powerful equipment clean your entire system, extracting the dirt into our trucks, removing it from your home completely. For better indoor air quality and improved HVAC efficiency, call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... 
This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, oh, no. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This Labor Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our starter price of only $14.95. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. On this Friday night, we go on the road to meet a bus driver who taught the best life lessons on the way to school and why his former students gathered for one last ride. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. And coming up in 30 minutes, we're heading back to Middleton for the Good Neighbor Festival. Everything the festival has to offer. We'll have all those details next hour on News 3 Now at 6. And it feels a little better out there. There's still some humidity, yeah. but we're really going to cool off tomorrow. Well, right? Yeah, not as bad as yesterday. And mm. you're right, this weekend will be very nice. Let's take a look at the live view from the WIC TV Skycam. We had clouds this morning. Now we've got sunshine uh, through the late afternoon, early evening hours. Platteville Queen Bee Radio Skycam has cleared out nicely, although there is a little bit of a thunderstorm uh, that's moving. Uh, just into northern portions of Crawford County, just to the north and west of Gaze Mills. We'll track down toward uh, Boscobel in northern Grant County. Otherwise, the rest of us looking pretty dry, although we can't rule out a shower storm to pop up tonight. All right, we're back in 30 minutes for News Now at 6. CBS Evening News is next.